The Silverback is a 32-foot Bristol Bay gill netter. It has a 1,000 horsepower Fiat engine and an Alamarin jet. It packs 32,000 pounds of red salmon. We added a step to the back of the boat. The step gives the hull a longer planing surface, which provides more lift underway. The lift is especially noticeable when the hull is planing over the surface of the water rather than plowing through the water. When the hull climbs out of the water and planes on the surface, we call it getting on step. Have you got to play a little bit? Yeah. Well, they ran out on step in some calm water. It's uh, runs real smooth. I really like the way the, the uh, swim step or the trips, the hull extension flattens it out. Okay. I mean, it doesn't run like this, like it's trying to climb up on step. Once it gets up, it goes boom. It's there, huh? It holds it up, yeah. Okay, sweet. How about in the chop? Could you get. Same performance? Yep. Would it hang there or would it kind of be a little rougher? Yeah, it's, you know, I'd slow down as much as I could, about 27 knots, and then it falls off. So right. It was better than it used to. Right? Okay. Yep, I think we accomplished what we were after with this. A fun project, and I think uh, I think we got a little welding to do on the bucket. Our goal was to get the silver back on step sooner and stay on top with a greater load. It takes a bit of power to get a haul on top, but once it's there, the drag is reduced and efficiencies increase. On this sea trial, the Silverback gets on step at 1800 RPM and the speed jumps from 20 knots to 30 knots. Earlier, we brought the silverback inside to mold up the step and to tune the jet. 32 feet is a maximum allowable length for boats in the Bristol Bay fishery. However, the boats are permitted to have an additional step off the transom of up to 18 inches. Step one is to build and wax the mold. Jet boats go in reverse by lowering the bucket and we weren't sure if the step would get in the way of the reverse flow of the jet. When the reverse bucket of the jet is down, the water needs to flow backwards under the hull. We later learned that at half bucket, we were pushing water on top of the new step.
Our fix for this water flow problem would be to weld diverter nozzles to the jet itself, as we didn't want to cut away any of the new planing surface we had gained from the step. This is 30 knots. Hell yeah. 90% load. Heck yeah. Feels good. Feels nice and flat too. Yeah. You nice. know, the, the, once it got up, it kind of flat down. But you can, you can now, if you wanted to,
Yeah, we'll as long as you can afford it, right? Huh? Is yeah. that 43 gallons an hour? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, if you can fill your boat, I yeah. guess it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, when they say. Living in the boat, yeah. <laughs> it's a thousand. Right here, come and build a little shack for me. <laughs> 